In this food adventure, I only have six minutes and 16 seconds to finish this entire cheeseburger challenge. Not only that, but this challenge is part of a larger competitive eating event. But before this burger battle ensued, I embarked on another adventure, one of exploration. And this time, it was the Sugarloaf State Conservation Area with the amazing Aussie tour guide, Jamie Miller, AKA Lemon Blossom. And of course, the big man himself, Randy Santel, who, fun fact, has not gotten any better with his phone addiction. You're an addict! But here's an actual fun fact. Once when Jamie competed in the Australian Coal Shoveling Championships, and yes, that's apparently a thing, he shoveled half a ton of coal into a bin in 1 minute and 19 seconds. Now, I can't say I've ever tried to do that, but I've done my fair share of shoveling while growing up on a farm. So without a doubt, that's pretty impressive. Anyways, as far as checking out the Sugarloaf Conservation Area, compared to some of the other places I've been so far, this wasn't anything too special, though the weather wasn't really helping things either. But regardless, I made the most of it, and getting my steps in now would certainly help balance out the burger I would be having later on. Or at least that's what I kept telling myself. And once our exploration adventures ended, we headed back, relaxed for a bit, then made our way to tonight's challenge. He's got total addiction tendencies. Then once we arrived, I started checking the place out like I always do, getting a sense of the energy and the overall vibe here. And you know what? I was kind of digging it. Especially in this case because there was something going on here that was going to make today's food adventure a special one. Because the restaurant here was setting up an event where it would be Team Randy versus Team Mitch in a team competitive eating competition with each team consisting of five people, including ourselves and four other local participants. And each person would be taking on the restaurant's 616 burger challenge. And whoever's team had the most finishers would be declared the overall winner. And let the food adventure, or should I say adventures, begin. As the five of us are taking on restaurant 616's burger challenge here in the Lake Memora area of the Central Coast, New South Wales of Australia. And for the 616 burger challenge, which if you'll notice there's a theme here, you have to finish a burger that consists of six patties, one rasher of bacon, and six slices of cheese. And I guess with that one rasher of bacon, it, it does technically make it a bacon cheeseburger. And this challenge also comes with a side of chips, though they're not required. They're more just of a garnish for show. Now with this challenge, there's a time limit of, can you guess it? I'm sure you can. Six minutes and 16 seconds, which is certainly not a lot of time. And if you fail, it's gonna cost you 30 Australian dollars. But if you can't complete the challenge, you get your meal for free, a free shirt, and your picture up on their wall of fame. And just a couple notes here, any of the participants who finish under 15 minutes gets counted as a point for the overall team competition. And secondly, this is after Randy's team already went. Obviously he dominated, and he had another teammate on his team who also completed the challenge, giving them two points on their team. So in order to win, three of us would have to complete the challenge. And for now, I needed to focus in and make sure I did my part. Okay, so competition and all put aside, these were some straight up banging burgers. Oh man, this burger was fantastic. Very flavorful, juicy, and just had those, I guess, meaty qualities that you're looking for in a burger. And while you did get a majority of the flavor from the burger patties themselves, you also got a little bit of cheese and bacon in their plain supporting rolls. Also, I was a big fan of these buns. They were on the softer side and a little bit more airy. And really, this whole bacon cheeseburger just had a melt in your mouth quality to it, which was definitely a big help when the need for eating speed is a must. And doing my part, leading by example, hopefully that inspired the rest of the team to keep fighting on. And as I mentioned before, the chips aren't required to complete the burger challenge. And if you're wondering if I ate the chips anyway... Are you being serious right now? Come on, of course I ate them after. You can do it! 
And in most cases, I would just say like chips are chips here, but uh, to my surprise, not too shabby. I might even say they were decent. They had that nice golden crisp on the outside and they were soft and, uh, and I suppose fluffy on the inside with just a dash of salt. And because I took that burger down with a swiftness, the chips were still pretty warm. But now it's time to focus on my teammates who were still engaging in their own burger battles. With a second completion, the teams are tied, and another teammate wasn't too far behind, with only having the small salad of vegetables left to finish. And with that, our team had three completions, giving us the overall victory. Of course, this was all just in good fun. You definitely have to give credit to the restaurant for putting together such a great event. And what better way to cap it all off than with some post-challenge victory push-ups. And to embark on the next food adventure video, tap the video on the screen or click one of the links in the description down below and I'll see you there.